Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you could have discussions with your students or they can actually conduct their own discussions in a browser window, just like that, completely free for both you as a teacher and for your student. I think this is absolutely amazing and it is available. It's called Kylo and I use Kylo EDU in my Moodle courses because it's an amazing way for students to engage straight from the LMS from their course. I'm going to show you how you can get this started. First thing you do is you need to create an account. So you sign up. Once you sign up, you're able to log in. So let me log in. I noticed I'm logged in and I enter. And how is that possible? Did this create itself? <laughs> well, not really. What happened was I got an email notifications and you will get email notifications every time someone adds their pros and cons, in my case, into this debate discussion for the classroom, which is part of the course that I'm going to take you to in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter and then I'm able to notice all the discussions that have been going on. And if I go through them, I'll be able to get the participants or the students who were here and added their content. And notice here on the left, it's in green and on the right, it's in blue. And the reason is that it's a debate and there are pros and cons. And the question was, would you conduct debates in your classes? What are some pros and cons? Now notice what's available here. There is the edit where I can edit this. And then you'll see this grading feedback that I set up as well as comments and edit history. Click to open. Now notice here the pros are in green and you can see them on the left and the cons are in red. And these are what the participants added. Now I can uh, go to the plus here and add a new con claim or go to the plus here and add a new pro claim. I love this. I think it's absolutely amazing. If you go to the left, you'll get the menu. Notice here my Kylo. Share. You can share this. Settings, search, info and stats, sources, perspectives, guided voting participation requests and my own claims as a teacher or a student. Notice also the share here. You can share this with others. And here you can enable this and you can just copy it and then you can have everyone write or you can have them edit if you want collaborators or suggestors or viewers just to view it. You can also uh, notice invite users, invite teams, and you can invite Google Classroom. It's best to use it according to Kylo with Moodle, Canvas, Blackboard, Brightspace, Google Classroom. Well, I use it on the Moodle. So let me take you to my course and see how this works there. And this is the course. The name of the course is AI for Student Collaboration going to go to the right here so you can see the activities and Kylo discussions going to click on that and then you'll see debates for the classroom there's only one Kylo in this particular course but in other courses I have a lot more and debates for the classroom you saw that and notice what happens it pops up here in the course so students don't have to go anywhere they can stay in the course and click enter and they're back here. Notice I am within the course. There is the debates for the classroom pros and cons and it's part of week one. Let me close the right here. If you're not familiar with Moodle, let me know. Uh, there is a course on Moodle coming up in May and you can register as of now. That's just a plug in for these free online courses. So notice there's the icon or logo for uh, Kylo. I just love it. I think it's beautiful. And if I click on it, 
here it comes up again. Really easy to create if you're interested in creating one. Please let me know in the comment box of this video or any other information you'd like me to share with you and I'll do that. So enjoy Kylo.